Well, I know that you've heard of the concept of an acid, but what exactly is an acid? And also, have you ever heard of the concept of the opposite of an acid, also called a base? So in short, what is the difference between an acid and a base? So I know you've heard of the pH scale. So here's the pH scale. Neutral, things that are neither acidic nor basic are in the middle at pH of seven. And more and more acidic is going to lower and lower numbers. And more and more basic, also called alkaline, is going to larger and larger numbers. Now exactly how this scale, how you calculate the scale goes into the details of how you calculate pH with, a, with an equation and a formula. But the bottom line is the more acidic something is, the more hydrogen ions are donated in solution. So for instance, here is a uh, container of hydrochloric acid. Notice there's a hydrogen and a chlorine there. So in solution, the hydrogen pops off as an ion called a hydrogen ion. Remember, hydrogen is number one on the periodic table. It only has one proton and one electron. So when I say a hydrogen ion, I just mean a naked proton, basically a hydrogen without the electron. So uh, a hydrogen ion donor is the same thing as a proton donor. And the more hydrogen ions you you have the more power of hydrogen that's what the pH scale means and the stronger the acid you have just for giggles here's a different acid sulfuric acid H2SO4 so as you might imagine floating around this container are hydrogen ions again the more of them you have the stronger the acid now we have hydrogen ion donors, which we call acids. We also have the opposite of an acid called a base. So if an acid is something that likes to give hydrogen ions or protons, naked protons in solution, then a base, the opposite of an acid, is just a substance that likes to accept or react with those protons, or they're called, also called proton acceptors. So an acid donates protons in solution, and a base likes to react with or accept protons. So you might guess if acids donate protons and solutions and bases love to react with protons and solutions, then acids and bases, when they come together, are gonna like to party because one's donating protons and the other is accepting or reacting. Here's the most famous example of that. You have hydrochloric acid and something called sodium hydroxide, that's the base. And so what happens is the hydrogen ion pops off and floats free in solution and reacts with the OH, which is in the hydroxide, making water. Water is extremely stable and loves to form. And all you have left over after that is salt and water. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.